hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven you in class again today how have you been we are going to have a very quick one today we'll show you how you can create grid like how you can grid your data on QGIS. you know most times so let's say simply put um gridding is just creating of um, regular intervals between points right good so you have an um, intersection of points or yeah intersection or let's say yeah you have intersection of points and then the points are evenly distributed or evenly separated right so um we have four points here they serve as let's say the boundary points or let's say they serve as the boundary the bounding data then we now come down to vector we go to a um, research tools right good then we create to um, go to create grid this algorithm creates a vector layer with a grid covering a given extent. Now, good. These um, four points um, will serve as our extent. So, if you have a polygon, maybe in form of a shape file or maybe card or whatever the case is, and you want to use that as your extent, you can as well use that as your extent, right? Good. We are going to show you what we mean by the extent. Now, elements in the grid can be points, lines, or polygons. The size and or placement of each element in the grid is defined using horizontal and vertical spacing you are going to see that very soon right the crs of the um, output layer must be defined the grid extent and the spacing value must be expressed in coordinates and units of the crs now in in very simple term what it's been described or what has been said here is that first thing is that your grid type can be in points lines or let's say different what polygons right good so let's say we are using lines then the extent let's say okay you have this point or you have a polygon which can be a card or a shape file or whatever the case is you come down to what the grid extent and then you select it right good so now we say um calculate from layer now by layer means you would have added under your layer panel right good so when you come down to calculate from layer you just select layer right we are still using our ss as what as our what as our grid extent now the next thing is what the horizontal spacing that's the interval between each of those points right good so now let's make this um 100 and let's make this 50 right good now the next very important thing is that your data must be in a projected um, crs for these units to work if it's not in projected crs then you'll have to convert or let's say yeah export as and then maybe get your data in a projected coordinate reference system so that these um, units of measurement can actually work very well good the grid crs you can see what wgs 84 slash utm zone 32 that's the location of this particular what data right now the grid type it can be line it can be point it can be polygon the grid extent you can have a polygon to determine or to bound your data then the spacing 100 or 50 whatever the spacing you have chosen right good then you can decide to save it we however won't save the output on today's video then you hit run good it has been what it has been generated and we have something like this now we have what we have a evenly spaced grid or we have our grid here right let's um, zoom this to layer and we see something like this now let's right click go to the um, open attribute table you will see that you can find the different coordinates now these different coordinates here you see left top right bottom right if you want to work with them and you don't really understand it you can as well what save this right click or you, know, you go to what export then you go to what um, save feature as right good now what we are trying to show you here is that how you can use those coordinates so instead of having it as what shape file you can have it as what csv right now when you have it as csv it's now easier for you to manipulate those coordinates so let's say you have this evenly spaced data and you want to have the you want to know the coordinates of each of these points and maybe attach elevation values to them the coordinates of each of these intersections right and then attach them um, coordinates yeah elevation values to them maybe from a digital elevation model or maybe any other source that's why you should or maybe you would want to what, have it as a csv file so you can list or maybe see those coordinates so now let's try to export this we are exporting as for csv let's give the file name good so let's just call this um, data right good let's call this data csv we click on save then the geometry type 
we come down to let's say x y because there's no z and every other thing is the same or it's okay so we click on okay right i think we need to just close this um, create grid and okay let's open this up good so this is the data we have from um, from qgs right good this shows the different coordinates so you can set just uh, delete this you cut all of these then you paste them somewhere around there you come down to this you cut it and then you still paste it somewhere around here right good so let's say our eastern and our northern then let's call this um, id right then when you want to attach your z value to it you have what a data set like this actually gotten from what from your qgs which is what the graded data so let's now go back to qgs good so we've seen the different coordinates of each of these intersection or let's say of each of these intersection points right so you can now do whatever you want to do with that data so this is how you can carry out what grading or let's say yeah grading on QGIS. You can go through the the tool and then you see some other stuff you can what you can do with it. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution to this particular survey or GIS problem. We are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.